Mr. Truck here with another trailer accessory review. Trailers, you know, they're a pain in the butt. You always got to worry about tires and bearings and the big thing, wiring too. And you know, I've, I've got four test trailers. I get any horse trailer I want from TransWest, so I have all those. I have a tilt car trailer from Load Trail. It's 22 feet long. And then I have the new Iron Bowl dump trailer. It's 16 feet long and eight feet wide. And then we have our Forest River toy hauler. And then we have a 14-foot ATV trader with ramps on each end from Low Trail. So those are the, you know, the traders that I use all the time to test these new trucks. Because, you know, that's my whole goal is to review a truck or an SUV with traders on it. Because you folks can't always get to, to do that when you're buying or shopping. And so I try to do all that. I always pull a trader. Now, a cool new toy. I couldn't call it the tool is in this bag. It's called lighttester.com, light slash tester.com. And you know, everybody makes one that plugs into your truck that tells you what's wrong with your truck or you know, what's not working on your truck. But very few people make one for the trailer. And so when I found this, I was all excited. They have a nice packaging system. But there it is. Okay. There it is, light-tester.com. Nice big box, and you got four settings. You got, of course, off, telemarker lights, brake lights, turn left signal, right turn signal. So that's what we're going to test. And you can just plug it into your trailer up on top there, your, your seven-way RV plug. And that's nothing to that. That's a nice little plug. You stick it in there, and your male goes into the female, and you're connected. Or if you don't have a trailer battery, then it comes with big extension cord and a cord on your box and that way you hook it to your truck's battery if some other battery whatever you want to test it to so you have juice to run the tester but this is what I was waiting to get because I always have problems with trailer lights we always try to keep them working but you know you got problems with the ends you got problems with wire and you got just problems in general you have all these problems <laughs> and now you can solve them this is a cool box so that's where you go to find one of these is light-tester.com. But uh, I'm so happy, and now I'm going to test this trailer. I'm, I don't have a battery on this horse trailer, but we'll do that on another trailer. So right now, I get to plug in all this circuitry to my truck's battery with these big jumper cables. It's good heavy wire. That's always a, a thing. You want, just like your trailer wires, I use 12 gauge sometimes 10 gauge but you know, a lot of stuff comes with trailers it might be 16 gauge so that's why I appreciate 12 and 10 gauge when I rewire something that's what I use I don't use 16 gauge but some trailer wiring is really light so I'm going to plug this into my truck battery and we'll go from there Mr. Trek here with another exciting trailer accessory review this one's for your gooseneck trailer it's from Gen Y Hitches it's called the Cushion Surge Coupler, Torsion Flex. So it's kind of like a torsion axle on a, on a tra horse trailer. And that, inside here are those torsions. And so as this thing flexes, those will move up and down. Gen Y hitches. All you have to do is look at them. They're built like a bulldozer. It's all heavy duty plate metal, making adjustable hitches, pencil hitches, shock absorbing hitches with torsion, like a torsion axle on a horse trailer. These things will last you forever. You cannot find a better built adjustable hitch. Okay. Positive and negative. Okay. Now, and this is a new trailer. Now this has also got a 10 amp circuit breaker, which is pretty cool. It's not out. So, now I'm going to plug the trailer into the testing device. 
You see the red line on. Okay, there you got a red light. Here's a tester. There's off. I'm going to put it in number one, which is tail and marker lights. Still got a red light. Number three is, her number two is brake lights. Still red. And number three is left turn signal. And number four is right turn signal. Yeah, I get the box is making a flashing sound. So I know the turn signals are working. So it looks like we got red everywhere we go. Brand new trader should be, no problem. Okay, cool. And that way, I can narrow it down and see what it does. See if there's a problem, because that's, you know, wait, otherwise you're out here with the light tester doing every plug on your wires. And you still have to have a, a lot of power source on the trailer to do that. And that's uh, pretty much how that works. So it's got a complete circuit on each one of those. So now we're gonna go test it on a trailer that has its own battery source. But I tell you, having been able to test your trailer that quickly, you're trying to identify what's wrong. I mean, I got a tester, we'll plug into the truck and look for problems, and I got this now, my new machine, to plug into the trailer to see if there's a bread circuit there, because you wanna find where the problem is, just like when you take your truck to a mechanic. He plugs into a computer, in your onboard diagnostics port and then that tells him what to look for tells him what's wrong with it otherwise you'd replace a bunch of things okay now this should be easy i'm here with my new iron ball trader and it has a battery on board because it's a hydraulic dump so it uses a battery and a hydraulic cylinder electric over hydraulic so now i'm going to plug this puppy in here like i did on the other one <laughs> look at that got a red light same way i'll see if there's any broken circuits go one through tail and marker lights, two brake lights, three is left turn, and four is right turn. And go to one, which is tail and marker lamps, two is brake lights, three is left turn, and four is right turn. So just plug that in. So now I know everything's working, which is so cool. Unplug it, ready to go.